Now to that disturbing video tonight showing a Denver East High School cheerleading coach forcing a student to do the splits against her will. And all new since five, we now know this is not the only case of this. Denver 7 discovered multiple videos showing other students going through the same thing. We have blurred the faces of those other girls to protect their identities. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Ann Trujillo. And I'm Shannon Ogden. And now we have more questions actually about the coach's resume and we'll have that in just a moment. But first, Denver 7's Jennifer Kowaleski is at East High and Jen, you talked to the mother of the girl in that first video. And her mother says what happened here at East High School took something her daughter loved and destroyed it, forced to quit the cheer team. She says the school should have done more. We do want to warn you, some of the content in these videos may be disturbing. 24 seconds of torture. It's just wrong. That's how Carson Wakefield describes this video. My daughter is begging for them to stop. East High School cheer coach Oza Williams and other teammates are holding her daughter down, forcing freshman Allie Wakefield in the splits. <laughs> Despite her cries for help, they keep going. Now he picks her up and throws her away when he's done. And this isn't the only video. Wakefield showed us seven more her daughter took during practice, including this one that's even more disturbing. My daughter's was not even nowhere near the most extreme video. Wakefield says the coach told her daughter it was the best way to get the splits and called it a rite of passage. Somebody had attacked my little girl and people sat around and let it happen and nobody stopped them. When did you first let the school know about this? Well, I first brought it up to the coach and he said, oh, she'll be all right. It's just a little war wound. Wakefield went all the way to East Principal with a video and says the school did nothing until the video went viral. She now says her daughter is paying the price for taking a stand. She had some cyber bullying going on and she was up till like three, four in the morning crying. Hopefully by doing so, that would prevent one more child from being injured under the hands of this man. Now this all happened in June. GPS just took action yesterday in a lengthy statement saying in part, in order to conduct a fair and thorough investigation, we have placed cheer coach Oswa Williams, East principal and several other administrators on paid leave. Now the Denver Police Department is also investigating after they say they received an anonymous tip. They now have child abuse detectives working this case. Reporting live in Denver tonight, Jennifer Kowaleski, Denver 7. All right, Jen, thank you. And we did some more digging on Williams. We found out his contract ended with the Boulder Valley School District because of similar complaints. He was a first year coach at East High and is most known for this, doing flips at the CU Boulder football games and appearing at Broncos and Nuggets games. And he's the founder and CEO of Mile High Tumblers, where his bio reads that he was an Olympic athlete and we reached out to USA Gymnastics. They say they have no record of him on their roster.